Uh, welcome to day 13 of Learn How to Sew in Two Weeks. Today I'm just going to show you how to measure your bust, waist, and hip. So let's grab our tape measures. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to measure your bust. You just want to make sure you're measuring the fullest part of your bust and that the tape is straight and level in the back. So you're just going to wrap around and then you want to make sure that it's still straight. It's a little crooked. And you want to make sure that it's not, you don't have a finger tucked behind here. But you just want to make sure that you're not like squeezing it that it's just very relaxed like right on your body for your waist you want to make sure you're not like wearing a sweatshirt or anything like super bulky and you just want to put it at the smallest part not the widest part the smallest part of your waist and then again make sure your tape is level make sure you don't have like a finger tucked behind here when you're trying to measure so you just want to make sure it's level it's straight and it's at the narrowest part of your waist and last but not least, your hip. For your hip, you are going to measure the widest part of your hip. And again, make sure that your tape is level. You don't want to be like sagging all the way down here. You want to be right across the widest part. You might need a mirror that's going to help you see that it's level. So just like that. So basically, once you have all your measurements, you're going to go back to that pattern page, look at the measurements in the top column to decide kind of where you might be, and then check the bottom into garment finish measurements to make sure you're still in the same bucket, and then go to the middle of the pattern, find your size, decide how much fabric you're going to need, or if you're making your own pattern, then you kind of have to figure out the math yourself, but that's it. That's all it comes down to.